about factorizing, but not just any type of factorizing. It's going to be the difference of two squares factorizing. So what this means is, I'm going to give you an example. So an example might be something like, you might see something like 25 x squared minus 49 y squared. Okay. So how we spot this type of factorizing, there's always going to be just two terms. The two terms are going to look like they, they're the square of something. I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. And we're always going to have a minus in between the two terms. So then how do we factorize it? Okay, so this first thing, 25x squared, this is the square of 5x. 5x multiplied by 5x, multiplied by 5x, sorry, would give 25x squared. Similarly, 7y squared would give us 49y squared. 7y, 7 times 7, 49, y times y, y squared. Okay. And then to factorize it, we write it in terms of those square root values. So 5x is the square root of 25x squared. There are two brackets. I put 5x at the front of both of them. But 7y, square root of the second guy the back of both of them and then I put a minus in the first one and I put a plus in the second one and that is your answer and yeah that that's pretty much how you do all these uh the only trick sometimes is it can be hard to spot something like this so you never know I might give you something like I don't know a squared minus one and you might say oh it might in immediately click that that is difference of two squares. But as we've seen, we have two terms. We have a minus in between them. This is the square of A. A by A is A squared. And one is actually just the square of one. One by one is one. So then we could write this again, two brackets at the front of both of them, put the square root of the first guy, A, and A, at the back end, put the square root of the second guy, one and one. And then put a minus here, a plus here, and that's your answer. That's that's that expression factorized, and that is different two squares factorizing. I hope that helps.